Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to The Basement as we are on episode three of Echo streaming now on Disney+. Plus. Maya, <laughs> as she says, has hit back. And I'm afraid the recoil is gonna be more than she's anticipating. And someone in her family's gonna pay for it. <laughs> crazy pants but i'm excited to get to it and i'm so glad that you are here with me for this adventure if you haven't already now is a great time to hit subscribe uh keep in mind full episode watch long is available on patreon i would love to see you there i've got my blanket i've got a couple i'm playing with apple brandy so i have some apple brandy cocktails ready to go i hope you have your favorite beverage as well and let's get to it so i take it we're having Flashback. <laughs> How do they get these white, white, white trees? How do you shoot white, white, white trees? I was wondering if this was the woman that we saw when Amaya's flashes. Well, she cut on to that pretty quickly. He doesn't look like a face of a person who's going to say yes. For half a second, I thought she was going to cut her hair. <laughs> we know someone's dying. It's a trap. Oh, jeez. Now we know what Tuckno means. And her hands are glowing. She coming in from behind. Oh, nope, right at them. Where did she get the pants? Black Bart, you'll get yours. And then what? So now I'm wondering if the fourth episode we're gonna get an intro with a, a woman from the past who gets the powers of Chaffa to save her people. Mm hmm. Yeah, okay. So are grandma and grandpa together? I wonder. <clears throat> He's looking rather fetching. Why don't we uh, go into my office? You bought you in the bottle? Cut the crap. I didn't come here to get leg humped by some old rest dog like you. God, you used to melt like butter when I talk Indian to you. Mm, that was a long time ago. My head's back. Mm hmm Yeah, I thought that might have something to do with it. Go sit over there. She's too much like her father. You don't know that. You don't even know her. And you do? You haven't seen her any more than I have in the last 20 years. Oh, really? You know, you two are exactly alike. We are not alike. Everything I've done has been to protect my family. It seems as if to protect only certain people in her family. Why don't you just swallow your pride before you lose your granddaughter too? I can't talk to her now. I got nothing to say. See, I've got questions. Well, maybe you shouldn't talk to her. Maybe you should just listen for once. Okay, questions. They had a good relationship. Chula's daughter is killed as retaliation caught up in with whatever 
Chula's son-in-law was doing. Chula blames the son-in-law, makes him go away, takes granddaughter with him. And now she's mad that the granddaughter went with him and has been away and never, she never once contacted said granddaughter, never once tried to build a relationship with her. Just automatically assumed since granddaughter left with dad, she's going to be just like dad. But you never did anything to be a positive influence. Is that what is happening? Is that what has happened? And what you going to say, Jaffa? Time to be the warrior. Well, that's a new vision. That was a new person. What? Well, this was quick. Of course, of course, she couldn't hear them come up on her. Could she now? Mm. So did Henry know? Or did he not know? Or is he gonna know? <clears throat> That's a dislocated shoulder. This guy. Oh, are they going to keep her there until the bounty people supposedly come? Yeah. <gasps> so Henry did not know. Hmm. Henry did not know. You don't think she hasn't practiced how to get out of those? That shoe's going to go up your ass. Bonnie? Oh no. Oh no, they think it's a guy. So what kind of skills does Bonnie have? We know she's a firefighter, but that doesn't mean she could fight. I'm sorry, I would find this highly hey. suspicious. Hey, I tried the front. Not a good time. Pretty busy. I just have some questions I want to ask you. Uh, <gasps> privately. How about you call me tomorrow? Smart. Work. Yikes, the IRS. I'll leave you to it. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Okay, Bonnie, so what's your plan? Call the fire department and the everybody in. Dispatch. Dispatch. Go. Oh. I was out of nowhere. She didn't see those people coming out of the parking lot. she have a knife? Oh, she does. I forgot about the knife in the shoe. Well, that's smart. For somebody who had learned sign language as a young child, she kept up with it very well. You ran. Come on, Vicky. Let me smooth things out with Maya. That way, if you leave now, you got nothing to worry about. Only person with anything to worry about is her. What did you do? No, Maya brought this on herself coming home. It's still a chance for you to get out of this alive. You really think he's going to pay you and then just let you walk out of here? Mm-hmm. He won't. Guns down. I can talk to her. 
This is our fault. We let him do the tying. Hey, hey, do her. I'm going to punch you. That was hell of a warning. They're here. Okay. Who is they? Can she throw that really hard? Scene. They brought in how many guys? How many guys did they bring in for Maya? <laughs> we come a very long way, so with way too many men. Although, although, assuming you brought that money. Oh, you know, we got protocols, right? Find out, boys. She's here somewhere. Now, I was thinking you show me that money first. Like I need to know that you have it. Why are they fanning out? He could just tell her what room she is in. <laughs> what is she constructing? Well, looks like she picked up some skills from Grandpa's through osmosis with a laser. Just need your gun, pumpkin. Where are you at? Is it loaded? Wouldn't that be something that wasn't really loaded? It was just there for show. Come on now, don't make. Now, now she is aware that Maya's deaf. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, looky, looky. Is that Henry Black Crow Lopez? Oh, right. The Lopez brothers. Where's that niece of yours, huh? We're actually not at liberty to say until we get our money. <laughs> I'm gonna go check on something. Yeah. As a matter of fact, she probably needs a hand with that, so I'm gonna head out and I'll be right. We still got a deal, so how about let's all go out and you show me that money. He's got their money right here. I think he wants to go out. Let's take him out. I'm gonna lose all the time. <laughs> oh, thanks again, Vicky, for the odd tip. Is um. The sister's headed for the parking lot. Let her go. I got Bonnie, right once Henry's daughter? Where is Maya Lopez? That's good. You crank up the sound, disorientate them. It's not going to bother her. Do they do laser tag? <laughs> 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 Oh, that was a cool shot. And also, it's the more difficult to hear people scream. <laughs> oh, now she's loaded. <gasps> wow, that was efficient. Wow. Wow, 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 those punches are not being pulled, or if they are, they're really good at not landing them, like, for reals. Oh, I miss where she picked up that gun. She goes. Wow! 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 
Ah, <laughs> lost count. Oh, there we go. Those things will hurt like a mofo. Wow, there's a lot of guys still left. Oh, I guess she didn't kill all of them, eh? Well, Maya, you brought the war to their door. I? Take him back to New York? Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry, I... Let me just... Let's go! And they're, they're not taking them back to New York? Check for bombs in your truck! Yeah, make that promise! Hmm, rich. That's what she wants to say, rich. So whatever moves you have to make, my you have to make them soon because we only have two and a half episodes left. <laughs> Which part? <laughs> the part where we were kidnapped by the guy who cleans my skates? <laughs> There's only one person who could have. But you didn't make sure he was dead. Maybe that's why there's a bounty, because you shot him in the face. If the offer still stands, I'm helping you. This convinced him to help her. This convinced him to help her because I guess they'll keep coming unless they can't come anymore. I hope he has good insurance to replace all of his equipment. And this is grandma's house, but grandma's not at grandma's house. Wow, that's quite the workmanship there, Grandpops. How did you mail that? You uh, don't uh, like it. Hello? <laughs> you uh, live in New York. You represent your people. If you uh, don't uh, like it, He'll take it. I could uh, melt it down. Paint it matte black. <laughs> now you know I don't get in uh, family business since your uh, grandmother and I not together. But uh, you uh, won't go see her. Yeah, she's given off that very big vibe. Her heart was broken when you left. Mm -hmm. She kept going. Are you taking the fight back to New York without talking to Bonnie? Yeah, I don't think she walks, looks around very much. What well, about Sheen who's out to get her? Especially when she can't rely on her sense of hearing. Is he really there? Although, why would she imagine him with one eye? Why would she imagine him with one eye? So he must really be there. 
Okay, so we're over the hump of the story. So we should be winding down, but I'm left with more questions. I think the top one is I'm still not exactly sure what it is Maya wants. Does she want to take over Fisk's operations? Mainly the ones in Oklahoma, or does she just want to end them all together? I think she wants to end them all together, but I'm still not 100% sure. And is Bonnie Henry's daughter? Not certain either. Because there's the cousins, Bonnie, Maya, Biscuits. I'm not sure who belongs to who and on which side of the family. Grandma and Grandpa split. What? And Grandma never once reached out to Granddaughter and then is questioning why she doesn't want a relationship or is hesitant to have a relationship just automatically assumed the child would have gone bad, although uh, Maya did go, go down a bad road. And is Fisk thinking Maya can still be in his world? She could still work for him? Say that it was a misunderstanding, he forgives her type of a thing because he wants her talents? because we have the strong women of the Choctaw. So I keep thinking that the story should be Maya protecting her people, but I'm not really seeing that. That's why I'm confused. Am I enjoying myself? Two point, there's things I'm enjoying. The acting is great. Visually it's cool, invokes lots of feelings. The fight scenes are amazing. I'm just struggling with Goal, motivation, conflict, new plot, <laughs> which is the thing I like most besides good dialogue. I like a good plot. So I'm hoping the series ties it up, makes up, answers my questions that I'm having in a satisfying way. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you all feel this way, this way through the season? Don't give away spoilers though. I'll watch the rest of it. I will. But yeah, I'm interested. So uh, in the meantime, take care of yourselves. Uh, stretch. Make sure you eat something substantial. River. T toast is magical. I love toast. Um, sweet, savory. It's great. Keep hydrated. And then you're going to come back and you're going to watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.